audience, this is your host Cindy and you are watching the book reviewer. I have another book review to share. So I was in the library a few weeks ago and found this book. It's called Let It Out, A Journey Through Journaling by Katie Dalboat. Now this is a different sort of book than I originally thought it would be. Um, I thought this would be about um, learning how to kind of set up a journal and um, it is kind of because it gives you tools to use a journal not actually how to start one. Um, so I was kind of surprised about that. Um, this book has a lot in it. Um, being, I have a journal. I've been journaling since I was a teenager. Um, I love it. Most of you guys know through my other videos that I am a writer by trade. And with that, <laughs> well, you can guess the rest. Anyway, um, so this book, I actually just finished reading it. Um, it has a foreword by Gabrielle Berenstein. Um, she's a New York Times best-selling author, and she told of her kind of journey to submit this, um, no, that isn't it, okay. The foreword is just, um, she, she has been journaling most of her life, and she found some tools and stuff um, that can help her. Um, the introduction goes into um, the author Katie Delbout um, about her journey through school and that she was made fun of. She was um, just not kind of herself but I think most people get that when they're in middle school because Normally that's a tough time for teenagers and about finding themselves, quote unquote. So um, she tells about fearing how um, she may not be able to do a book and um, how her journal became her best friend and how um, she she had a hard time writing um, and completing a book like you just saw at the cover of it um, was a dream for her and she eventually um, made it over kind of the hump of actually doing the book proposal and things like that so um, she kind of starts off with kind of a user manual about um, things she's learned in her journey of journaling because that's what it is. It's a journey through journaling and I think that this is a really good book. Um, she says to you have to believe that something like journaling or whatever you think can heal you will. Um, you have to be patient and believing that you can do it. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, another couple of tips is uh, being honest with yourself. And I think for us that's really kind of hard because we don't we say what other people want to hear and we're just not brutally honest with ourselves and allow us to feel those feelings that need to be expressed and that need to be said sometimes and, and the other one is faking it till you make it now I've heard this a bunch of times 
Um, faking it till you make it is something that I think almost everyone does. If you don't like something, you know, you kind of fake it until maybe you find out you really, really love acting and then you you made it. You are, you know, a actor on Broadway maybe. And then you really love what you do for a living. If you are indeed on Broadway, which is a huge accomplishment. <laughs> so that's the first part of the book. She says that she loved school shopping as a kid and frankly so do I. I love getting a new notebook any time of the year. <laughs> Not just when school started. Um, she puts together this toolkit. Um, she goes through different tools that you can use to help your journey through using writing and stuff to help. One of them, is, the first one is called the morning dump. And I think that's pretty funny. Um, we get so wrapped up in decluttering. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to... There you go. We get so wrapped up in decluttering and, and taking care of our spaces and stuff. We don't really think about our minds. And what happens is that our space is clean, our bodies are clean, but what about our thoughts and our mind? And this is what she's talking about here. She says that, think of it as a kind of an emotional mouthwash. And thinking, writing down all of the thoughts that you have in the morning. Anything that you need to do, anything you need to kind of work out. Um, any thoughts that you have, and a lot of it is going to be kind of on repeat. And she is saying, you know, dump it out, let it go, um, get to your deepest desires, and just write it out. And then, um, visualize what things might be like. Um, if you are in a loving, supporting relationship, what does that feel like? What does that look like to you? So, um, she says after that, um, it's powerful stuff because she says she was teaching the exercise and she visualized extra money in her bank account and she found out that somebody had donated to her via I guess her podcast yeah and she had extra money that I guess day or month or whatever um, this is probably going to be a longer YouTube review than usual. That's fine. Um, yeah. Okay, so another tool, and I'm probably not going to go through all of them. Um, it's probably going to be some of them. Um, here's one. The, the other tool here is the Dream Decoder. All of us have had this great dream and we're really pumped and then by midday we may not be able to remember it. That's a problem. So she says, after uh, keeping a journal by your bedside to um, write it down and to go into much detail as you can. Don't worry about all of it. Um, so that is good morning audience. 
So, um, you might be wondering why you just saw the last video I was kind of cut off because apparently my camera doesn't want to record more than 10 minutes at a time. So, um, we'll try this again. Um, what I was talking about is the dreams about um, recording them and um, all of that. So, um, they said not to worry about all the details of the dream, but visualize um, and create stuff. Um, and after visualizing the dream, um, write it down. And that's pretty cool. Um, so, um, there are a lot of things in this book, like I said. Um, she goes into different um, tools, like I've, I've said, I've explained. And there's this one um, that I think is pretty awesome. It's called The Opposite Experience. And she talks about an episode of Seinfeld. And I've never really watched the series, so I'm not sure. But um, it, it goes on to explain that this character, Greg, George, not Greg, George, says that um, he's doing something completely opposite for today, for that day. And, and this lady, Katie Delbo, uh, decides, um, suggests that maybe you do that. And she recommends um, recording the experience in your journal, how things went, how things might have gone, stuff like that. Um, there are a lot of things in here, like I said. Um, so, what I was saying about decluttering. Um, we, in recent years, it's been more of kind of an awakening, I guess. Um, there's been stigmas for a long time about mental health. And... It's similar to the decluttering thing that I was um, going into. Um, we talk about keeping our physical bodies clean, our spaces, and it doesn't occur to people to kind of declutter your mind and have that mental health and clarity and things like that. And she um, has a few ideas about how to kind of organize your life, um, by writing. And she says that every month you can include mantras, like a little saying or phrase that you'd like to focus on, videos you want to watch, things you want to try, and just write it all down is her main point. Um, she um, encourages writing down meals. She um, recommends prioritizing. And how we really um, carry this thought process in our head and how we nitpick and and here's here's part of the book she she says what could i have for dessert no i shouldn't have dessert or wait should i maybe i'll be hungry kind of this internal dialogue that we have um so she goes into being present in the moment and writing down the feelings and there are, there's a lot of things in here, like I said. Um, one of the tools is write your way out of a funk, um, making any situation fun, 
um, there's one that I particularly liked. Um, let me find it. Um, one of them was to kind of text yourself and um, check in with yourself like you would a good friend. Hey, how are ya? Kind of thing. Um, she talks about enhancing gratitude. Um, there's even an exercise in here that shifts shame from yourself to something else. And she, uh, let's see, she prepares a affirmation write out. So she kind of affirms herself through her writing, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not really sure if I would do some of these. I guess in a way I probably have because um, there's this one, Let It Out to Reveal, and it's about therapy and how she mentions that her journaling saved her from, um, you know, anything bad or anything like something like whatever. Oh, I, I don't really know. I guess it would be just the bad feelings that she kept with her that she let out and that kind of cleansed her. Um, so the, uh, so writing can be good therapy and she says that uh, she believes strongly in um, traditional therapy, but you can also do it yourself. Um, asking questions, asking about um, what you're feeling, and she, let's see if I can find it. Um, and then she goes into um, doing kind of a higher power type um, search. Um, I'm not really going to delve into religion because I have, here's my philosophy. You have your beliefs, I have mine. And that is fine. And that is totally fine if you don't believe or whatever. I don't care. You have your beliefs, I have mine. And... Um, she does acknowledge um, chatting with a higher power if you believe in that. Um, this book is uh, 269 pages, so it was not a long read. Um, I personally like this. Um, it's good for somebody that's starting out that they don't know what to write. Um, I personally think that free writing or just writing down lists and and other things to help you is beneficial. Um, you can get this um, on Amazon and um, I think you can get it on Kindle too. I'll make a note somewhere in this video um, of if it has a Kindle edition or not. Um, this was like I said, a different book than what I expected, but it was still a good thing, and there are some ideas I might carry over into my writing, maybe. Um, this was a little bit longer review. Um, I might make a part two. I'm not sure. I might be able to mash it all in one video. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye!